Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and this is Generation. And the last episode, oh boy, I think, oh my, oh dear, looted that was gonna be a doozy, and it was, but we're we're past that now, hopefully. Um, we're going to, uh, we're gonna get out of there. We're gonna get after the contact situation. Now, I didn't look up any, I usually look up the canister locations and then forget all of them. But I didn't do that this time, so... <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do on canisters. So, we clearly appear to be on a train. There's only five film. Okay. Maybe it'll all be fine. It usually isn't, though. So yeah, the entire thing is shaking. It's like I'm playing VR. You okay? Are you talking to the penguin? I mean, just a little bit ago she was uh, treating someone who was dying. And he's gonna chill down there for a bit. There's my other friend. That's the- isn't that the guy she was treating? Looks like he's okay. So that's good. Um, oh hello. That's one films. I haven't actually looked up what I need to, uh, to get yet. What is this? God, it's shaking so- why is it shaking so much? It's crazy. What does autofocus have to say about this? Cool. Interesting. <laughs> autofocus? I don't know. I think I broke it. <laughs> I broke autofocus. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because it can't focus on everything. Just wanted to get a picture of that kaiju book, you know? So yeah, contrast has been unlocked. You can turn contrast down, kind of blot things out. Eventually starts getting, like, gray and stuff. Um, and if you turn it to the other direction... It starts to make the darks very dark and the lights very light. It's, it's, it's a great tool. I uh, use it a lot during my actual Photoshop work. It's like mess with contrast. It makes a picture that's kind of mad better. Um, so, we need five seagulls. Um, on flashing red lights, five American flags at once captured with a telephoto lens. A coffee and a down light. I don't know what a down light is, so I'm just going to have to look for coffees. Um, and that needs to use the wide angle lens. Then the fisheye lens, which we unlocked. We need sauces and cereals and 20 sticky notes. And the numbers 2 and 3. 203. 2 oh, three. Two, oh let me get this. Now, I took this because it actually took me a long time. I, I'm assuming I just got seagulls. <laughs> because um, most of the time when you're on this thing, you're driving through a tunnel but eventually it comes out of the tunnel, and then you can see outside, and that's where, like, seagulls are. Now, I might have caught something else, but I'm assuming it's the seagulls, so we're gonna see in a second. Let's expose the hell out of this. Yep, that was a seagull. I don't know where the seagulls were, but they're there. But now you see we're already back in the tunnel, so I wanted to take the opportunity to take the picture there. Those are body bags. Oh, if you remember, I had to take a picture of two body bags. I'm pretty sure those are then, so. Eek. This is, this is all very rough. Let's go get that photo. All right, so the American-style fast food is pretty big, so we want to zoom in on that. Maybe here? Yep, that was it. That'll do it. And there's a bunch... How many American flags did I need? Five. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> Jeez, you got burnt. Jeez. Yeah, he he looks like he's not quite okay. <laughs> Gonna need you to stand up for a second. I know you've had a hard day. I don't wanna to uh don't want don't want to pose on you too much. But let's get a shot. Got to document our time here, right? Um, I think it has to be from here in order to... <laughs> excuse me! Excuse me, I'm just gonna stand on your table real quick. Oh, let's do the wide angle. That's flash, alright. <laughs> That's fisheye. Hmm. Fisheye might be okay. 
Looks like I got a blue bottle in there, that's not great. But we'll take this as the group shot, I think. Cool. Where's the blue bottle? Oh, there's a blue bottle by your foot, dude. Oh, and I got 20 sticky notes in there somewhere. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> um, let's go to the kitchen. There's probably some cereals and sauces there. Uh, there's flour. <laughs> Hello. You're not a coffee can. Did I just tell- I just told him to chain's pose through the wall. <laughs> Look sad again. Um, is this kaiju cereal? What did I- let me see, uh, sauces and cereals with the fish eye lens, which I do have currently. Those look like sauces. Cool. There we have it. Cereal sauces. Is that a- is that a- is that another canister I just saw on the table, or is it a coffee? Hi-ho! Hi-ho! It is indeed film. Alright, yeah, this seems like a pretty small- and as I mentioned- I mentioned, like, look out for these guys, I think they appear again. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just need one more and I'll have it. So, yeah, these, these, this mother and son show up quite a lot, uh, in, in this. Uh, let's get one without flesh. Yeah. I think we're gonna... Lighten it, and then contrast it. Can't help but feel that I made it worse by fiddling, but... If I really feel like that, I can use the original. And that's, that's the, that's the UN soldier that died, I think, again. The one that had the memorial all over the city. Okay, a pentagram. Um... Mm-hmm. I don't... <laughs> don't know quite why that's back here, but... I feel like I gotta get the scoop on that. Let's make this, like... Let's make this high contrast black and white. I mean, maybe we're trying to summon the anti-kaiju. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, bounties. Flashing red lights. Uh, coffee... Ugh, coffee. Always the coffee. Um, and if I get a picture of enough burgers, that should be the American flags, I think. He, he appears to be asleep. What is this? Sports! Sports? Sports. Sportses. I just love that, like, throughout all of this, we're just bringing a giant, like, penguin with us. <laughs> it's just how we roll. We don't go anywhere without our penguin friend. Um, I'm willing to bet there's enough American flags in this shot that I will get it if I telephoto lens enough. So let me actually stand all the way back here, let's see. There's one up there. That'd be another one. It's gotta go back as far as possible. I mean, there's not nearly enough American flags now, but... Um, alright, well I got something. <laughs> the numbers two and three. Uh... I don't like that I just got that and have absolutely no idea where it is, but... <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Uh, I don't see the numbers two and three anywhere. Uh, whoa. Well, you can step out of the train here. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Fall into my death. Should probably get some cool outside shots, too, though. Uh, so... Hmm. The coffee's, like, gotta be in here, though, right? So let me get my wide angle out. It's not this. Yeah, that's fisheye. That's wide angle. Um, like, is it is it just here and I'm not seeing it? Maybe. Something was there. Yep, okay. It was there. I don't, <laughs> this is really just me taking pictures. Oh, hello. Well, guess what? For the first time, I will not be doing a film wrap-up. I have found all of them within the episode. Cool. And I didn't even look it up, so I'm glad. I didn't waste my time looking things up. Um, I, pro I might have even been able to complete this 100% if I had gone fast enough, but that's not what we do. We relax. So flashing red and... I seem to remember you need to go outside for that. Because there's lights on the outside. There is like a little balcony thing you can stand on. Yeah. 
And then I think as the train is going... Can I do this without falling off? I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> the answer was no. I cannot do it without falling off. Um, I think the red lights will, like, pass you if you wait long enough. So let's try to do this without falling off the train. <laughs> I'll just wait a bit. Uh, can I... Just love to see... Oh god, now see, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Okay. <laughs> I'll just wait for it. Patiently. I think that was it. You might notice I'm back here because I, in fact, fell off the tra- Oh. I mean, that was... <laughs> that was the flashing lights, and now I need to wait. There, I, There's like a little platform here, though. Do I- Oh, I just step out here. Okay. Oh my god, that was another one, wasn't it? Too far. <laughs> um, oh, it's because I, ne I need to be close by, so I think I do need to stand here. I don't think I have a choice. Um, <laughs> I do need, like, I don't know if you can get the picture if you're not standing here. But we're going outside, so let's get a let's get a shot of the view. Where's my? Oh, that was it. Wide wide angle, I think. Uh, this appears to be a destroyed city, like a completely destroyed city. Um, so. We probably, you know, news reporter. <laughs> we probably do want, do want some shots of this. This guy looks beautiful, though. There's so many American flags right there. Yeah, the sports lens doesn't, like, focus in as much as the other one. So I think you're much more likely to get the shots with it than with the, uh, the one that they give you initially. But yeah, that was it. So I just need to wait for the lights. I need to patiently wait for lights, which I'm not great at patience. <laughs> I think the trick here is to wait for it to actually pass and then take a picture. There we go. Warning combat. Yeah. <laughs> I see why they wanted me to get a close-up of that. So that should be it, an on-flashing red light. I'd like to get a good picture. I like. I know I got a picture of seagulls just because I was worried, but I'd like to get a good picture of the seagulls, <laughs> which you absolutely can do. I just uh, didn't. <laughs> I just fired randomly knowing that there were seagulls. I didn't even see them. Um, I'd also like to know where the two and the three are, but I don't. <laughs> I don't see any two and three. There we go, there's some seagulls. Is it enough seagulls? <laughs> I don't know, at least I showed them in the video. I don't know if I'm gonna get a picture. I, I think I accidentally turned on uh, autofocus and I can't like turn it off. Oh, oh! Stupid pole! <laughs> that might be as good as I get though. I can't- <laughs> All right, whatever. That's as good as I'm gonna get. The poles don't want me to do this. Yeah, I'm not gonna get much better than that. <laughs> Alright, I think I think we're good. Um, I'm gonna have to practice to see how to use that action shot thing. Uh, but we're good. We got all the things. Congratulations. Cool, cool. All right, bloom, bloom. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I wish I had that like adjusts the light, so you can make the light a lot more um, poppy. But let's beat it again, real quick. Get the extra thing. All right, I don't. It's kind of crazy that um, <laughs> I was able to get up. You see that? Uh, two, three. That's where the two and the three were. So that's that. Flash? Why not? Bluebell. All right, let me let me appease. I know I know the episode's actually over, but oh, or like the, the thing's actually yeah, up here. There's a bluebell on the table. I don't I don't know if it's possible to not get the bluebell. And hell, here's Bloom, but this is a bad example of Bloom because it's already really light here. It's it's good for dark places with like one source of, source of light. I bet it would make. Um, and this is the first time I'm gonna add a picture for my other run because I didn't get a good 203 picture, or two or three picture. Um. But yeah, 
That's what that's about. Uh, oh, I guess I'll also show the sticky notes since I didn't show those before. I just took them. There's sticky notes all over the place. It's ridiculous that I was able to get that two, two, three thing though from here. But the game, the game decided I was good enough, so <laughs> I got it. Uh, double check. Yep, everything's good. I mean, a, a few blue bottles. I keep on calling them blue bells, but they're blue bottles. <laughs> Whatever. Um, select bloom. We got. Bloom is great for making neon lights pop, but sometimes it'll just wash out your image. Play around with it, see what works for you. And the count, comma ultra wide angle lens. This wide angle lens gives you an almost. Oh wow! So that it gives you like ridiculous shots that are not possible to the human eye. That's cool. Let's go check that out in the tutorial thingy. Bloom. So yeah, here's an example shot. I mean, bad example, once again. There are cool uses for it, I'll show it. <laughs> but it's really for, like, dark images with, like, a specific light source. You can make that specific light source more crazy. And here it is. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the amount of, uh, <laughs> of things you're able to capture with that wide-angle lens. So, on to the photos. So, yeah, it's it very, the most American man of all time <laughs> leading off. This one really does just show, I mean, she, she seems fine back here, but just the impact of my friends. Especially the one guy I'm wondering. Also, it's insane that there's a kaiju cereal. That's cereal. Why would they do that? It's like something's like just destroying human society. Let's make a cereal. That actually does seem like something that would happen. <laughs> just going through a completely destroyed ruined city. Sure, if it's a city, like, you know, a million people might have lived there, and we, we got the seagull friends in the end. Yeah, this, by the way, if you take it with a wide angle, probably the sports lens, I don't see how you do it otherwise, you do get an achievement, just like with the, uh, the planes and whatnot, the jet planes, which I might show myself getting at some point, but I don't know. There's the family again. And once again, my friend, I just noticed that my one friend here does have a military jacket. I wonder if he was in the military. Or, it's just a style. That's probably my favorite picture, but there wasn't really a blowout this episode. In any case, thank you for watching. And we'll see what we see in next episode, where we're going to. We're obviously going to some type of destination, so we'll see you then. Thank you to my patrons, and I'll see you guys next time.